From the time she was a four-year-old, Tara had big plans of becoming a famous skater, and in record time, she was a national and world champion. Even for Tara, it all happened ahead of schedule. Never last year did I think that, you know, I'd be world champion, national champion, series finals champion, you know, and on top. I, I thought that, you know, I'd gradually go up and skate really great and maybe place, but never, never win. Tara had her plan affirmed at last year's nationals when reigning world champion Michelle Kwan opened the door for Tara to make her mark. Seven triples won her gold, fame, and notoriety, status that might have unnerved another 14-year-old. What have we wrought on the world? But for Tara, it was part of her plan. <laughs> oh my! She's totally in control of her, uh, of her skating and and uh, her schedule. My skating, I think, for me, every week it has to be like a set schedule, so you keep going, you keep training without interruption. She's 15 now, and she's probably a little bit more independent, but I think she's using that to her advantage. I mean, it really goes back to where she has a mindset that she wants an Olympic medal, and uh, there's not time in her schedule to uh, let anything interfere with that. Tara continues to strategize. Already considered a technically superior skater, she's working now with a Russian ballet coach to silence critics who previously labeled her artistic presentation robotic and unemotional. We speak a lot about what she, what she have, what she has to feel, uh, what kind of emotions she has to feel. Because I like her to, to imagine uh, the story that she is dancing, so the character and the dancer would become the same thing. You know, I'm a different, you know, almost a different person on the ice. You try to, you know, especially what character you're trying to portray. You have to, you have to do that, and you have to have the whole package when you're out there. And when you get off the ice, you just you be normal. So it's totally different now. Even in a year and a half that, I, that I've been working with her, I can see a huge difference. It's emotional. like a different very, person in front of me. Very emotional. It seems the judges recognize her transformation. Winner of the recent Champion Series final, Tara received four five nines for artistic presentation. Tara has grown up quickly. With TV appearances, tours, and even her own autobiography, it's hard to believe that this is a normal life for a teenager. On the ice, Tara has proved that nothing will deter her plan once she shares with her mother. <laughs> Off the ice, maturity has come from seeing the harsh realities of a life you don't plan. Before competitions, Tara and her mother visit ill children. They made their first visit a year ago prior to the Nationals in Nashville. Tara met a little boy there that was terminally ill. And when she came into the room, he was explaining um, about how, you know, he was so happy to see her, but he was having a bad day. Before that, I was having a bad day, and I just realized, you know, it's not a bad day, and how lucky I am to have everything I do. National and world titles, fortune, fame, all by 15. Everything was going according to Tara's plan until her disastrous short program step. Thursday. Oh, oh, did you see the... The question tonight is, what happens when the plan doesn't work? And it is certainly worth noting that no American skater has ever captured the gold medal at the Olympics without first winning the United States national title. Terry, there's an awful lot of pressure on young Terry tonight. Brent, you're absolutely right, but Tara Lipinski, I think, has made an entire career out of proving people wrong and becoming the first to do something, the youngest world champion in history, and she is in fourth place. But remember at the world championships a year ago, Dick and Peggy, Tara was in first place, Michelle Kwan was in fourth place after the short program, and Michelle Kwan's free skate, which she won, almost pulled her up even with Tara Lipinski, she didn't get any other help. And tonight, Tara Lipinski needs some help from other skaters. Well, you must also remember that she has won the U.S. championship, but she may not win it this year. So that's a little variation on the rule by, you know, the theme by Paganini. So Tara on the ice, had a good practice today. So did Michelle Kwan this morning. She's been very careful in practice all week. This was really a test for her. She didn't know how she'd skate was off the ice for a month, was away from competition for two months. If you're watching her, uh, well, here comes a, a flip jump. 
And a beautifully done one. That was so straight up and so perfect in line that it was gorgeous. But if you've looked at her face as she's been going around the ring, you've seen a lightness and a joy that she's had. I mean, it's really been a, a heavenly feeling. That's the difference between it being a heavy skater, a down skater, and one that is up and bright and light. And Peggy, every one of these skaters knows as they're on the ice right now, there's Nicole Bobek. Don't count her out. She no, was a U.S. Don't. champion. <laughs> Did you see the spring in her jump just then? She goes up first and then turns. Now, that was only a double, but she has magnificent uh, spring in her jumps. What's going through your mind right now if you're on the ice, though, Peggy? Well, you're trying to focus on your technique and, and really Get, get yourself comfortable with this crowd. This crowd is just electric out here. I mean, there are almost 18,000 people, and this is a very important championship. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that, that was a little triple flip on the part of Tara Lipinski, and let me tell you, it was a perfect one. Tanya Kwiatkowski has medaled at the national championships. She has gone to the world championships, 26 years old, the elder stateswoman, if you will, of this field. And she made a remark the other day that, you know, everyone wants the younger skaters to grow up in a hurry and to mature. She said, I'm mature. I'm right. that package already. <laughs> well, she wants to prove to everyone that she's not over the hill. She's you... very well prepared. She is just a solid competitor. And Leslie Visser has been backstage and down near the ice. Let's check in with her right now. Leslie, what do you